Welcome, I'm Eric Ostini, product manager for Agi Charmi. Been with the company for 20 years. I'm currently a product manager for the EDM and milling products, and I'm here to introduce you to the Agi Charmi AC Form 20 machine with the uh, new HMI control. The uh, machine is a die sinking EDM machine. It has a uh, C axis frame, so it's a Short C-axis frame allows for a large work pieces to be added to the machine. It comes standard with a linear tool changer for position, typically. That is either a System 3R or an Aroa system added to the machine. Uh, C-axis is also standard on the machine. Allows you to hold up to 55 pound electrode and uh, maneuver that with full power to the electrode during a spin or a indexing of that electrode, for example, in a helical type fashion, burning down into the material. So the uh, amperage on the machine is 80 amps, and that is again whether it's stationary on the C-axis or in a helical move in the movement of the machine itself. The machine has a traveling table, so the X and Y is on the table itself. So we have the X moving in this direction, the Y moving in this direction, and then we have the Z head which comes down. The travel of the machine is uh, X of 13.8 by 9.8 by 9.8 and Z. So uh, lots of travel on the machine, uh, lots of versatility in this small compact design of a machine. So uh, as you can see here, the, uh, the door frame here is just over 27 inches in door frame, but on the table we have a magnetic base so it makes it very easy to set up a part on the machine. Um, just lay your part down on the magnet, lock it down, and then we're off to go on the new HMI for a setup. Uh, one of the key features about the Form 20 is the new AC Form HMI. The uh, reason it's a key feature for us is that we've designed an interface for the die sinking line that is very similar to our wire EDM line. So the learning curve to go from wire EDM to die sinking or vice versa has been reduced because we use the same concept, the same layout. So on the first section you see here, which is the main page, we have four, five sections here and three of them are small and two of them are big. And the reason for that is, is that the two big side is mainly where you're gonna go to do things in the machine. So we have the preparation and the execution. And when I click preparation, it will ask me a very simple question right in the beginning. Do I want to start from an existing job, so basically a modal type job that I'm repeating over and over and over, or an empty job? And I'm going to say empty job in this case here, so we start from a full scratch. All right, now that we're in the HMI, let me explain a little bit about it. Up at the top, we have what is called the mode buttons. This is an area where you can go from prep to execution, to files, to manual, to service. But right now, we're in the preparation. It has a green bar and it has a green around it. And the reason for that is, is that it's similar to our older controls, but it also gives you a view from a distance of where you are in the, on the mode from uh, across the room. So on this side here is what we have as steps. And the way the HMI works is we work from step to step to step all the way to the bottom. And once we reach the bottom, we are done with the program and ready to execute that job. Here we're introducing the, uh, the Micron HSM 200 ULP. The U stands for full simultaneous five axis machining. As in this part right here, we're doing full simultaneous five axis machining of uh, type of part for the uh, aerospace industry. Now, the machine, the HSM 200, is basically designed for the med tech industry or the watch industry or for general mechanics when they're doing some small detailed parts. The machine has a polymer base onto it. It's basically a polymer granite. So it's a very stable machine. And because it's a very short C-frame design, it adds to the ultra high accuracy of this type of machine. So when we get into micro machining and milling or in the dental or medical industry where you need to do detailed work, this machine can do that type of work. So as you can see here, with the uh, travels of this machine, you have your uh, Y in the lower head, you have your B and A 
in the lower head, and then you have your X and Z in the upper head. So you have a full simultaneous five axis machining of a part. Now the average size of a part for this type of machine would be 100 millimeters, so just under four inches, in X, Y, and Z. So that's the typical size of a part that you could put on this size of a machine. But this uses a Heidenheim 530i control. Uh, the machine has a built-in wizard in it so that you can draw the part and then cut away on that part and you can visually see it while you're cutting on it. So it has a nice wizard interface for doing that. Uh, standard type of keyboard makes it easy for editing programs as well as inserting. So you have your insert buttons here for different types of corners when you're designing the part. And then as well you have here your positional type things. So going into manual mode for using the remote pendant or doing a tool change on the machine, tool definitions, that type of thing. So you can see it has a 30 position tool changer on it. Uh, right now we have uh, the probe in position number one. That is its only position. It's used for the probe. The rest of them are uh, tools that can use up to 50,000 RPMs. It doesn't necessarily mean the machine only runs at 50,000 RPM. Now the tool changer is a very fast tool changer. It's four seconds. From, uh, to do a tool change on the machine. So your uh, chip to chip is around five seconds, four to five seconds. So opening the door here, you can see now the inside of the machine. Now right now, during this part, we're using an oil mist on the part. So you can kind of see the chip sticking around the, uh, the part itself or down in the bottom there where we have a small drawer where the small chips then are, reside in and a very easy drawer to clean out and just pull it out through the front of the casting. On the uh, YREDM side, our newest models are the Cut 100 series machines. We have right here the Cut 300 SP. And over on that side over there, we have the Cut 200 MS, which I'll show you the differences in a minute. This has a uh, swing open door. When the water tank is full, I can't open the door. Once the water goes above table zero, it prevents me from opening the door. On the Cut 300 SP machine, we have what is called a Quadrax design. It allows us to move the axes in the UV, the same travel as the XY. It comes with a polymer granite casting, so this is not sheet metal, this is the actual casting of the machine. And uh, auto threader can be threaded fully submerged at 15 and 3 quarter inches of uh, threading. And I will thread the wire machine right now. And what you're going to see here is the water jet comes on. Here I'm going to cut the wire on the machine. First thing it's going to do is it's going to feed the wire a little bit. Then it's going to uh, stretch the wire using heat inside the black tube above and then cut it and then the wire is then going to be ready to be threaded in the next operation of threading. So here I'm going to now thread the wire in the machine. So first thing that's going to happen is the wire is going to feed a little bit. Then the water jet is going to come on in the lower portion and feed the wire down into the lower head. And there's the wire threaded. So you can see we have a very fast threading system on the machine. We can cut the wire and thread the wire in under 20 seconds. Here I'm going to show you the Quadrax design by moving the U-axis out of the machine. There we're already past the 45 degree angle. And we can go even further because the travels of the UV is the same as the XY on the machine. So therefore the machine has no limitation to the taper it can do. The limitation really comes from the wire itself that it has to do this bend and it can't do it. And what I'm going to show you right here is a uh, straight line cut into the side of a part. So I'm going to hit cycle start here and uh, wire is going to kick on, flushing is going to kick on and what we're going to see here is, is the part being cut into the face. What you see right here is full power right into the side of the part 
without any modifications to the generator setting. Just, uh, just uh, set up the job, tell her where you want to go, tell her what top power you want to use, and let it go. So right now we're in the part itself, so I'm going to raise the Z head. Come out of the part in the Y negative direction and move in the X direction. Now the, the fast speed of this machine is 3 meters per minute, so that's the travel speed of the machine. And it's full crash protection on the machine. So if I would happen to hit anything with the lower head or the upper head, like for example this block or the tooling that's holding the part, it would then automatically stop due to the crash protection in the machine. So uh, on the HMI, on this machine here, you can see that in the preparation mode, if I go into the main screen, you notice that it has a similarity of the die sinking line. So again, your prep and execution is the place you're going to go. And if I go into my preparation zone, I have the modes up at the top, just like I described before, and then the step-by-step -step procedures that you would walk through in order to generate a program for the wire EDM machine. So again, using the same philosophy between the two HMIs, it reduces the learning curve between using a die sinking machine or using a wire machine because we use that same look and feel and the same philosophy in the step-by-step -step procedure to walk through and write a program on the machine. On the Cut 200 MS machine we have here is a automated door. All right, on this machine here, if I raise the door up, so you can see, it's fully automated. Just one push of a button and it can go up or a push of the button, it unlocks the door and then lowers it. Giving you full access to the machine travels of 13.8 uh, by 8.6 by 8.6.